Hello friends, this is Heather the Fed Up Foodie. There is nothing quite as wonderful as a fluffy and flavorful quick bread like this orange cranberry bread recipe. My husband and I absolutely love eating this cold with a hot cup of coffee. So here are a few tips to make this easy quick bread from scratch. Although it's not necessary, lining your loaf pan with parchment paper will make it much easier to remove the quick bread from the pan after baking. Also, the parchment helps to catch any icing later in the process, making for much easier cleanup. I also highly recommend to use a metal loaf pan rather than glass because of the even baking it provides. Another wonderful thing about this recipe is that no mixer is needed. The ingredients are soft and very easy to mix together by hand. Okay, as far as the ingredients, using pasture-raised eggs with their deep orange yolks will help to give this bread a beautiful orange tint. Whole milk Greek yogurt will yield an incredible texture, and if possible, use Kara Kara oranges because of their powerful orange flavor. We have made this recipe with both fresh and dried cranberries. Although both are delicious, nothing compares to how luxurious fresh cranberries make this dessert. When working with fresh cranberries, it's important to rinse and thoroughly dry them. Also, coating them with a small amount of flour helps to absorb some of the liquid, which prevents them from sinking to the bottom. One of the best baking tips for helping to maintain a fluffy textured final product is to mix the wet ingredients as much as you like and the dry ingredients as much as you like. However, when mixing the two together, stir until the ingredients are just incorporated. To ensure that you have some plump cranberries at the top of the bread, reserve a quarter of the floured cranberries, spread them evenly across the top, and gently push them just under the surface. This bread bakes at a lower temperature for approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes. You will know it's done when the center springs back to the touch. Because this quick bread is so very moist, at the end of baking, leave the bread in the oven with the door ajar and the oven turned off for about 20 minutes. The residual heat will help to ensure that the center is fully baked. One of the best ways to get a professional looking thicker ice topping is to divide the icing ingredients in half, ice with the first half, and let the bread dry before repeating with the second half. This quick bread is wonderful given as a gift or placed on dessert tables during the holidays. However, it is an absolute favorite at our house that we enjoy any time during the year. For more recipes like this and for weekly inspiration, make sure to head on over to thefedupfoodie.com and sign up for my newsletter where I share recipes and tips in helping to make cooking from scratch approachable.